Hello, beginning ballroom dancers. I'm here with Matthew today. What's happening? Welcome to session A, class number one. We are going to be covering some foxtrot today, a traveling step, and a turning step. How exciting. Let's get to it. We're just going to show you what this looks like first, and then we're going to break down all the separate steps. So here's our traveling step. Two of these. And then we're going to do a turning step. Very similar to the traveling step you might see, but different. And there we have it. Two traveling steps, two turns. Let's break down the traveling step first. I don't mind the meters part. Yep. I'm going to take two forward steps and then a side close. I'll show you that with a different angle. Forward, forward, side close. Forward, forward, side close. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The followers part is similar. Why don't you show that? We're going to be starting going back on our right foot. Back, back, sides together. Different angle. Back, back, sides together. One more time. Perfect. So us doing that together, I start with my left foot. We're just going to hold a practice with a frame here. We'll talk about frame later. Uh, we're going to go left foot forward for the leader, right foot back for the follower, and we just move in sync with each other. That is the key for this move. Let's talk rhythm for a second. Sounds good. So in this, not all of our steps are going to be the same length of time. Our forwards or our back steps are going to call, uh, we're going to call slows because they will take two counts of music. Our side together will call quicks because they will take one count of music. Let's show them what yeah. that looks like. I was gonna count over them. Bum, 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 ba, bum, 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 ba, bum, 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 ba, bum, 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 bum. Or, if you don't like my bum, bum, we can go slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Easy enough, right? Anything else that we need to talk about in regards to rhythm, music? Let's talk frame. Frame. This is where we communicate to each other, where we're connected to each other, right? So it's kind of important. Um, the first thing to notice here is that my right arm is connected to the back of my armpit. Um, shoulder blade, hand on the shoulder blade. And then her arm is just draping on my arm. We want to make sure there's no space between our arms. So if you're dancing like this, or can easily, you know, put a, a hand between there, it's gonna yeah, that's a good point. Even just aesthetically, you want this to all be. Then over here, my left hand to her right, my hand is on the outside of hers, and we're just relaxing around each other. The big thing to notice with frame is that we don't change the shape of it. So when I step into Lydia, I'm not relaxing my frame and bumping into her, or as I step into her, she, she makes sure to not, to not do the same. I'm also not extending my frame out of my body. All I do is lock it, and I move, uh, I move my frame with my hips. Let's move on to our turn. The turn, the necessary turn, because if we only have the traveling step, we bump into furniture or other people. Yeah. The turn, very similar to the traveling step, except I take a forward step, a back step, and then a side pose. Why don't I show you the leaders part really quick? So I go forward, back, side, close, without rotation first, just so you can kind of get a sense of that movement. Forward and back and side, close. And in, uh, in order to get the rotation, all I have to do is turn my hips a little bit counterclockwise as I take both the forward and the back step. So I turn a little bit, I turn a little bit, and then I do a side dance. A good thing to aim for here is 90 degrees every step that you do. I shouldn't say step, every dance step, every turn that you do. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. And there you have it. For the followers, we're going to be doing the same thing, just in reverse. So we'll be starting back with our right foot, back, forward, and then side together. That's our version without rotating. We'll do that one more time. Back, forward, side together. As Matthew mentioned, we are going to be starting to turn a little bit into the back step, into the forward step. That looks like this. We're going to go back, forward, side together, back, forward, one more time, back, forward, side, together. Cool. One 
one thing you have here as we show you this together is that the leader is the one who's deciding how much we're turning here. So Lydia is just going to try to keep her hips even with mine and not fight the rotation. So we turn a little bit together and notice we're still in line with each other. We're stepping underneath each other's centers. Forward, back, side, together. Look down here at our feet. Can you zoom in on our feet here a little bit? Notice that I'm not stepping out here outside of Lydia's center. I go through her center, almost underneath her, as we rotate. And then she comes in underneath me. Now let's put these two steps together. We'll start with the traveling step first. At the end of every step here, we have a side pose, whether we're doing a turning or a traveling step. It's at that point that I decide if I'm going to do another tra uh, traveling step or a turning step. Let's do that one more time. So I'm going to do a turn right after the first traveling step. The way that I can communicate that to Lita, there are a couple of ways. One, I start rotating right away, which I don't do when I'm traveling. If I were traveling, I would just go straight forward underneath her. But I start rotating right away, and that's one way that Lydia knows that I'm turning, right? The other way is that I make sure I keep my weight back, and I'll exaggerate this so you can see it. I lean back a little bit so she can feel that I'm not continuing forward. Because if I go forward and I roll to the ball of my foot, she's going to take the next step to tap me, and she will take that step. So I keep my weight back in the heel of my left foot, and I take a back step. Side. That will often manifest itself for our followers um, in feeling a little bit of a push stopping you as we're about to take that next step. So as Matthew was saying, after going through that first motion step, I feel a little bit of resistance in my back here uh, that's telling me to stop moving backwards and then that we are reversing our direction of motion. And that's not because I'm actually pulling her to me, it's just because I'm stopping and her momentum is continuing to go back, so her back is creating pressure. And just like with the traveling step, the idea here is that we're on each other's cadence, we're stepping at the same time. And just like with the transition from travel to turning, whenever I'm done turning and facing the new direction, after I do my side close here, I can head off into a traveling step. I think that does it. Yeah. That does it for today. What's in store for next time, Lydia? We're going to be introducing a new dance style. We're going to be starting some waltz next time. How exciting. We'll see you then. If you guys enjoyed this video today, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you can see when we post more videos like this. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment down below, and we'll hopefully talk to you soon.